Welcome everyone. I'm Regina and this is Maximum Off-Grid. Today we are talking about building an off-grid water system with garden hoses. So why am I choosing garden hoses to run my water? Okay, the first issue I have is I bought this property. The well was already installed. I had purchased this property after I bought the main property. So my whole homestead is 600 feet away from the well. That left me with two choices. I either need to run a long ass hose system or I need to haul water on a trailer. And I'm really not feeling going out and buying a $1,500 trailer, getting all the proper pumps uh, to make that system work. So I am deciding to try out the old garden hose. Uh, you also may be wondering why I'm not doing poly pipe. That is usually the standard when you're moving water on your off-grid property. All right, so back in the day, this land was used for cattle grazing and there's some leftover poly pipe from those days. As you can see here, the poly has completely degraded in the sun. So it doesn't do very well as an above ground pipe. Now, I could get poly and I could bury that poly, but there is no way in hell I am digging a 600 foot trench right now. And I'm not about to go rent out a trencher machine for $1,500 over the dang weekend because that's what they want for equipment rentals around here. It's crazy. So this is why I have not chosen poly. All right, so the hose I decided to purchase is the green wood 100 foot hose from Harbor Freight that I got for 30 freaking dollars, which is super cheap for a hose and it has really good reviews. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that this hose kicks ass and stands up to the Arizona heat and sun. So I had to purchase six of these hoses and that came out to about 200 bucks after tax which is not bad uh, to build your off-grid water system. So I will be reviewing this hose in future videos, but if you're interested, I left a link in the note, in the no shows, in the show notes to this particular hose that I bought, if you're interested. Okay, so I'm gonna get this, um, all these hose lengths connected and we're gonna turn it on and we're gonna hope that the well pump can pump the water 600 feet. Right, guys I nailed the measurement perfectly I mean it doesn't get much better than this so I'm gonna scooch these uh, IBC tanks over so I can fill all three I thought I'd have to put a little 20 foot hose on it to make this work but that measurement just worked out so pretty stoked on that I just want to take a quick moment and ask for viewer support so you can help me keep Maximum Off-Grid YouTube channel and website running. I made a really big decision and I decided to quit my job to be a full-time content creator. And I know that sounds really crazy, but my job sucked and didn't pay me beans anyways. So this is how you can support me. You can subscribe to my Patreon, Maximum Off-Grid. I'm going to have exclusive content drops on there. You can visit MaximumOffGrid.com website. Check it out. There's a ton of valuable information on how to go off grid. And you can head on over to the e-commerce store. And I have some digital downloads and products and merchandise that you can show your support directly to me and also get value for yourself. Uh, another way you can support me is to send me cryptocurrency. 
Uh, I accept any token on the blockchain of Ethereum, that is an ERC20 blockchain, and the Binance Smart Chain Network, that is BSC, BNB20 blockchain. If you do send me crypto, leave me a comment in the show notes so I know you sent it. And the final way you can show support to my channel is simply subscribing. I'm gonna be legit sending this thing full send, tons of videos coming out, tons of valuable content for you. You're gonna love it. Uh, and you can simply like this video and share it with your friends. So that's a few ways you can support me. Now back to the show. All right guys, so we're looking at my well system here and it has one of these kind of IBC coupler devices on it like the nozzle thing and um, basically I built this out of fittings from tractor supply which is kind of redundantly stupid because it's like one two three four five fittings to get it down to a standard hose size but it was a uh, in the pinch moment and I actually found the adapter for an IBC tank that goes straight from your big coupler to your small um, hose fitting and the link is in the show notes it's 25 bucks so you'll save a little bit of money because I want to say this whole conglomeration costs like 30 bucks and a lot of plumber's tape um, but that's what I have for now eventually I'll probably get the direct um, fitting so I'm just gonna pop this on I have Wata. Oh, shit. <laughs> I got water. I got water in the garden from here. Um, I would give that a 100% yes. I have water. Not only do I have water, I have really good water pressure. <sighs> oh, it's hot. Oh, it's really hot. Wow. All right. <laughs> so I got my three IBC tanks mostly full and it took about 45 minutes per IBC tank to fill. These are 320 gallon tanks and for me I think that is a pretty good rate. Um, yeah my IBC tanks are moldy I know which is horrible for my um, solar power drip irrigation system because it can plug all the little holes even though I have it going through filter filtration system and I really need to just rinse these out and put a tarp on them so it inhibits the mold growth but it is what it is for now um, but I would say that my off-grid water hose system is a success and I can pretty much have water uh, wherever I want probably within a thousand foot range of the uh, well I mean, that was a lot of water pressure, so there is no doubt that I could probably have a lot more range with this system, and I don't have to bury a crap ton of uh, poly pipe. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, uh, please share it with your friends, give it a like, and if you like me, give me a subscribe. It really means a lot to me, guys. Uh, see you on the next one.